Good day, YouTube. This is Jay Money with Falling Ford Financial. Uh, just doing an update on a bunch of MJ stocks and um, can't leave out uh, Canopy Growth. Uh, I've talked about them uh, numerous times here on the channel and uh, just time for an update. Um, I've uh, held this one uh, for quite a while. I, gee, in one account, I think my cost of these is like $38 and look at it now. So I'm these levels, I'm probably going to be buying some more, so uh, just to lower that cost basis, but I've been watching for the bottom, and don't know if we're there or not, so but this is going to be growth ticker CGC you can see what they've done here over the last year, down over uh, 21% not as bad as some of them but uh, when you look at this particular price, it's horrible, so Actually, that seems like that should be more than 21% down, or I'm sorry, down $21, down 85%. Looking at it wrong, so it's, <laughs> whew, too much red. So, over the uh, last three months, down over 55%. In the uh, last month, it's down over 21%. In the last week, it's actually in the green, 7.79%. Here's a look at today, so it's down a little bit. Uh, but like I said, I've covered this one a couple times. Uh, they engage in the production and sell of Medical MJ. The uh, firm operates through the uh, following segments: uh, Global MJ and other consumer products. Um, so it's got a lot of backing uh, from Constellation Brands. I've talked about that in uh, past videos. Uh, so even though it's down, it's gonna have them as a bailout so uh, found in 2009 1.46 billion dollar market cap and that's just been slaughtered high today of uh, 386 low today of 362 52 week high of 25.59 and a 52 week low of 324 average volume of 4.75 million and volume of 1.33 million so not a whole lot of volume on this one. Not the greatest ratings either. 47% hold and a 47% sell. Uh, next earnings is coming up on August 9th. And you can see where I tried buying some back in 2019. At the 26.50. That was actually a good price back then. And there's $36. I've moved these over to a different brokerage uh, since then, uh, but. Yeah, it was uh, <laughs> uh, coming up on four years ago. It was forty nine sixty. So, wow. I wish that one wouldn't have filled. And look at it now. So, over here on uh, Bing, it's even showing. That's kind of depressing on CGC, showing it as a sell here. Dropping fast, down three and a half percent. The previous close price was three dollars and seventy nine cents. So this one's just getting hammered. Uh, but about all I could find on this one uh, is this information. Canopy Growth Contro tra Trademark uh, Battle Ends Fitch Ratings uh, Downgrades Canopy Stock. And as you can see, this one was just out today. Last year, a French alcohol maker, Remy Contro, uh, ticker R-E-M-Y-Y, sued Canopy Growth for alleged trademark infringement over its CBD-infused uh, sparkling water brand, uh, Quattro. I think that's how you say it, Quattro. Uh, not, well, here, it, here we are. Pronounced Quantro. Yeah, I was saying it right, Quantro. So, uh, claimed it's not about my pronunciation, <laughs> it's about bringing the article to you, but uh, Quantro. Claimed that uh, Canopy used a... Quantro to uh, trade off the market uh, dominance and fame the Quantro uh, mark, arguing the only that only the N sound uh, differentiated the uh, two brands as Spirits Business reported earlier. So, kind of interesting. Canadian uh, giant and U.S. Uh, subsidiary denied fully and partially 112 of the 115 claims. Quantro and its U.S. Uh, subsidiary made in the uh, complaint the jury demand in October. Now, according to a filing in Manhattan uh, Federal Court, the uh, France-based producer Quantro Orange Liqueur has settled the uh, trademark dispute, uh, reported Reuters. So, uh, not too good a news for CGC. 
Quantro initially accused uh, Canopy of using Quantro in order to unfairly capitalize on the goodwill and reputation of the Quantro mark, adding that the uh, defendant's willful actions will not only uh, confuse consumers as their affiliation with plaintiffs and the uh, Quantro brand, uh, but will blur the uh, exclusive association plaintiff enjoys between Quantro and single source of orange liqueurs. Canopy, uh, based in Smith Falls, Ontario, and in New York, a court filing on September 21 that its Quantro brand not infringed the applicable uh, trademarks under the federal or state law and is confusingly similar to. So, not too good of news for them, uh, but that is going to happen from time to time when uh, people think you're still in their ideas and whatever else. So. Canada, shortly after, the Canadian producer uh, partnered with uh, Severn Glazer Wine and Spirits to distribute its CBD-infused beverages in the United States. Uh, Canopy's financials and analysis. In the meantime, uh, Canopy Growth was one of the top three Canadian companies reporting earnings in May, despite a 5% year-over-year decrease in net revenue which amounted to 520 million Canadian or 408 million uh, US in the uh, fourth quarter ended on uh, March 31st of 2022 so I don't know the way I'm looking at uh, canopy growth right now is that um, with the downgrade and everything the uh, low prices it might be a uh, buying opportunity uh, again I don't give tax legal or trading advice just state my opinion but um, Here's some more information about the trademark lawsuit with uh, CGC over the CBD infused water. So, um, so just going to scroll through this one, uh, but you can list in the comments uh, whether you're buying uh, CGC or holding it, or if you sold it, or what you're doing with it. Um, but this is pretty much the uh, same information. So, just going to scroll through that. But uh, moving on on. Stock twits uh, currently at three dollars and sixty three cents. Tilray, the temporary dip was because CGC was downgraded again due to declining share in Canada. Tilray has a greater share in the market, closer to profitability, about to acquire number one brand in uh, Hexo at dirt cheap price and Tilray has one of the best opportunities in Europe or more specifically Germany which will legalize before end of the year so I'm still holding them all I still hold uh, CGC Tilray so um, just did a video on uh, Cure Leaf I'll leave that in the uh, comments as well so over here on uh, showing CGC as 365 and showing as a strong sell with an upside to six dollars and eighty cents here on uh, Emerson Money. So that's uh, kind of depressing. Bad news all the way around for CGC. They used to be one of the top ones, uh, but they're just keep going down. So, but that is all that I have on uh, CGC. I'll keep watching this one. If there's any updates, I'll. Uh, Try to make another video. Uh, if there's any other stocks out there you want me to make a video on, I'd be happy to do that as well. And if you haven't smashed that like button yet, go ahead and hit that for me as well as subscribing and hit the bell so you're notified of when the next videos drop. Again, this is J Money Falling Ford Financial. Happy trading, happy investing, stay green. Cheers.